Hello and welcome, Paulie here, and I am back in my world on Minecraft. And it's a pretty important day today because Minecraft 1.9 has released, actually released yesterday, but we're not being too specific at the moment, it does not matter, and the important thing is 1.9 is out. Now 1.9 dubbed the combat upgrade has been released and there's a whole bunch of new features, but before we talk about that, I've been talking about my project here where I've been trying to get grass down here and we're going to fill this and make it basically an underground biome. So I'm trying to get grass down here. I don't have a silk pick, but what I did find out is that grass will jump from block to block if it's uh, directly above it. So grass will grow, as you can see, it's about halfway at the moment and it's going to make it down, which is going to be excellent. So that's happening. Just wanted to mention that. Let me just make my way up. Now, I don't know all of the changes that are happening with 1.9, but I do have the patch notes here. It mentions some stuff, not everything, but I'll quickly talk about it. But as you can see, this is working quite well. And once it's all the way down, I'll delete it all. I was tempted to delete it as it was going, but I figured there's no point, you know, doing that right now, just on the off chance I end up messing up. So... Yeah, that's my current work in progress project. So what I wanted to talk about was that 1.9, the combat upgrade, is here. And some things have changed. Now, I need to get into my, my house quickly. Okay. Some new sound effects as well. So I'm going to read through the patch notes. And then... I'll, Always been like that. These stairs always been 3D ish. Hmm. We shall see. So, okay. Let's have a bit of a read. 1.9 com upgrade has released. We now have shields, which I'll show you in a moment. Attacking now has a cooldown delay, making it more important to time your attacks, so. I mean, maybe I need to be fighting a mob, but it looks still pretty spammable to me. Honestly, I kind of wish they went with like a power attack mode where I can charge up my sword before swinging. But uh, yeah, you can now hold items in both hands. I'll show you that in a moment. Swords have a special sweep attack. I don't know how to do that. Axes have a special crushing blow attack. I don't know how to do that. Added the... Eli Elytra? Elytra? I don't know what the Elytra is. New mob, the Shulker. Don't know what that is. They've expanded the end. Added chorus plants. New purple blocks. Uh, pur pur blocks. New end rod block. Added dragon head block. Ender dragon can be resummoned. Added beetroot and beetroot soup. Added grass path block. Grass path block. Interesting. Added igloos, armor protection values have been lowered, added trip, uh, tipped arrows, spectral arrows, frost walker enchantment and frosted ice block, and a whole bunch of new sound effects which we heard when I shut the door there. Added sound effect uh, subtitles, brewing stand now requires blaze powder to activate, added skeleton riders, and they've fixed a bunch of stuff, but I mean... I know some things weren't mentioned there because I heard there's now two person boats and stuff. So, okay, let's try and knock out some of these updates. First of all, I can now have an item in both hands. So we've got the diamond sword and then I could swap my hand and then I can have that. Unfortunately, I can't use both, but I can swap between it pretty quick. As you can see there. So, let's go ahead and craft. I'm going to need an iron block, an iron bar for a shield. And the mobs are going. No. So, to make a shield, it is... Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me.
There's a shield. Okay, let's just pop that there. Now, I'm assuming I can shield bash with that. Now, we probably want that in our offhand. Now, I have no clue how this shield works. It's there now. Do I need it in my main hand if I want to actually, you know, use it with something? I don't know. But what we're going to do... Of course, it's just gone night time. The only time I ever want it to be night time, it switches. I'm pretty sure I saw a creeper over here. And I did see that creepers were changing colours slightly, depending on the colour of grass they were walking over. Well, that's a bit disappointing. You can swap pretty quick. Alright, well, the bloody creeper buggered off somewhere. Not to worry, let's have a look at some of the other things. So, I want to take a look at the boats, if possible. So I did hear that there was two person boats. I don't know if it's true. This is literally just someone replying on Twitter. Oh, there we go. Now I can, now I can use the shield. It wasn't doing anything at first. That's cool. So I wonder. So if we, Yeah, I don't know, there's supposed to be a special attack there, but... Anyway. A wooden spade is needed apparently for a boat. I think so. Let's have a look. Okay, as it turns out, I was misreading. Uh, the shovel is only if you are using the pocket edition. So, and you can also make different coloured boats. But apparently, the whole system's changed a little bit. Let's have a look. The one thing I'm most excited about, though is well no that's not really exciting is it half the test one thing i always liked the idea of was being able to move around with a torch in hand and it would light up the area but unfortunately torches don't give any ambient light do they so we'll have to have a look at that but i could definitely see some uses especially if you're mining picking one hand shovel in the other oh that is so good all right, let's test this out then. From what I've read, boats should be more boat-like. They're also a lot faster, which is interesting. They also look cooler. Okay, I'm in. Oh, neat, look at that. Oh, it slows down immediately. And going back doesn't turn me. Oh God, that's fast. Oh, so much easier to control. Oh, the paddles as well. It looks so cool. Wow. Yep, boats are cool. And it's just so much easier to control as well. I don't know if they've still got the da same damage values to where you can smash them up so easily, like if you hit a block, but if you can control it like this, it's not going to be an issue, especially if you can look around and it doesn't turn. I like that. That is cool. Let's just have a quick... 
Oh, I also mentioned there's going to be igloos. I'm curious if that's like something you'll just come across in the world or... Yeah, I don't know. It's got an amazing turning circle, this boat. Let me get a bit of room. Hey, look at that. <laughs> On the spot turning, amazing. Yeah, I really do like this. I mean, it's also very fast as well. That's one of my old boats. Huh. Yeah, we'll leave that there for now. I'm gonna head back. And going to try that tunnel. Yeah, I think the boats might be my favorite addition. And again, I'm using the John Smith texture pack. Oops. I'm not hearing any sound from rowing, but I don't know if just my audio is messed up a little bit. Who knows? So I quickly wanted to try this out. Now, originally this waterway was a little tricky, even with the other boat, because one wrong move and that's it, you're gone. But since you've got such better control now, Oh yeah, that's beautiful that is. I could probably carve away through some of that ice just to connect that up over there. Since we no longer have to worry too much. But yeah, that's cool. Okay, let's try this. And this is fast, well, this is apparently slightly faster than sprinting. So it may not be a bad idea to have more sort of like lakes and stuff to connect up unless you like prefer to use like minecart systems and so on but yeah this is great this is going so fast as well this might be my new method of getting around okay that tunnel was a lot longer than I remember it then get out the end full speed can do the straight turn no worries that is great. That is great. So yeah, some definitely nice improvements. The boat might be my favorite thing added so far. Just even the oars just look great. I mean, how long does it take to get boats working properly? Yeah, it's okay. Let's see. I have an idea. Can I get through here? See, if I was in the old style of boats, no chance. No chance getting through that gap without smashing myself into the side. I feel what I should have done here. It's supposed to be now boats will put you off next to somewhere, so if I get out... Oh, no, my boat broke. Oh wait, there it is. Okay, that was weird. So, I'm just thinking if I was to remove that top layer, let all the water fall in. That could be kind of cool. Since this is no longer what I was planning to make. Hmm, we'll see. Anyway, it's getting dark. So let's head back. Actually, let's have a quick look over here. Because one thing I'll point out is that we'd never really been over here in a boat just because it was hard to access this area. But now, or and just because I'm too lazy to bring a boat over, but now... No, okay, I banged it there, but it 
still hasn't shattered into a million pieces. St still bummed that torches don't give off ambient lights. That really should change. I'd love to go, like, uh, you know, exploring caves and stuff and have a torch in one hand and be able to light up the way in the other. All right, I think I'm going to head back. I've traveled quite far. Can I place one in the boat? Oh, I can. Nice. I know I've always been able to do that, but still. All right, so yeah, boats, probably my favorite edition of 1.9. Let's go try the combat. I'm going to head back to... Can I make it back this way? Oh, uh, there was all the ice, wasn't there? That's why we made the tunnel. Oh, bosh, bosh, bosh. Okay, boats are a lot more sturdier. This boat would have shattered into a million pieces by now, otherwise. Okay, I'm a bit too fast for my world loading as well. Just chill for a moment, let things load. Cave entrance around here. I forgot where my tunnel entrance is, oh crap. It's about this way. Got a creeper creeping after me. There's supposed to be a new collision as well. So I can like crash or I can like be on a cart and if I have a boat in the way it's gonna stop it or if I'm like sliding very fast okay let's get back get my sword and shield ready This is definitely cool though. I might try crashing this, seeing what happens. It's supposed to put you off near shore as well if you start to go by a block. Full speed. Boat is A-OK -okay and it put me up on the shore. Sweet. Alright, now let's try the combat. I just want to move back a bit, make sure there's nothing behind me. There we go, you battered my shield. Okay, so if they're close, the sword will hit multiple targets, it looks like. That's cool. Again, I haven't really been paying too much attention to how this is going to be. A tad bummed that it isn't like a power-up thing where you can power up your attacks. They lose hearts when I... Hit him. So far, this is pretty cool. Better than before. I guess it is an improvement. Ooh, I lost my helmet. Helmet broke. So yeah, new combat system don't seem too bad. Kinda neat. Having like... an item in both hands though is really cool. While I haven't been able to utilize it yet, I just imagine when I'm mining or digging, having to switch between... Uh... Well, you know... I. 
I say it's going to be easier actually thinking about it. I don't know how. Because normally when I mine, I've got like, you know, pickaxe on button one, shovel on button two. And if I've got a switch, I press one of those buttons to switch. It's not a big deal. And now it's going to be the case of if I'm mining, I just hit F. So not much has really changed in that aspect. I guess it don't matter though. Stop whining. But yeah, uh, I've only taken a very brief look at 1.9. I'll come back when I've got more stuff to show off. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed so far. Hopefully it'll give some uh, fresh life to the game. Make everything feel a bit newer. What was that I saw down there then? I still don't know what this Shulker uh, mob is, so I better be careful. Anyway. That's it. Thank you for watching and join me next time.